Okay, here we are now. This is my old computer. Well, this is still my current computer area. As you can see, we have the golden eye at the top. Let's light it up. Alexa, turn on the golden eye. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I set it up with a smart. Stupid thing. No. Would you like me to set up a routine to do that? No. Stupid no thing. Okay. So um, I wanted to say, what is it like to downgrade after, you know, having to have a computer be junked? Uh, that's beneficial because I got all this new stuff. Um, go from an i9 right now to a computer that just came in the mail today that's an i3. What is it like? Well, first of all, the biggest difference is the computer screen. Oh, my word. If this screen breaks, I don't, even though it's cheap, I don't think they would replace this screen either. Would it even be worth it? Um, no Ethernet port. That's another thing I'm kind of pissed off about. Um, is there's no Ethernet port. But other than that, it's really not a big deal. To tell you the truth, when I use this thing, it may, I kind of feel like I'm using a tablet. Because it does everything my iPad can do. There's really not much of a difference. Other than a few programs. Oh, shit. I forgot that program, Sentinel. Got to download that. Um, that's for my police scanner. I, I Other than that, the police scanner is the only real thing I needed this computer for so I could program it. Other than that, I didn't need it for shit. So while we're talking about that, I'm going to turn this on. Not much of a difference. It has an HDMI port, but the screen is only like a 720p screen. So... I guess the graphics card in this thing has 128 gigs of dedicated memory. It probably supports 1080p if you connect it to an external display. But what's the point? What are you going to do for 1080p? Notice every time I use a, a camera to record this, it looks all lit up. But it's not. It's all black here. That's got something to do with the way the, the screen is. This is probably some cheap LCD screen or something. I have no idea what screen is on here. Updates are underway. Oh, did I tell you? Microsoft tried to push a big one. I didn't even notice this. Another one to talk to you about. I'll put my password in. I know, I'm kind of secretive a little. Um, Microsoft tried to push a fast one. They have this new thing, and I think it probably happened before, but it's been so many years, I don't even remember it. They made it so the only way you could download apps was through them, the Microsoft Store. You, if it wasn't verified, you couldn't download it. And there was a way to, and uh, if you decided to, br to break from that, they wouldn't allow you to go back, which means you'd all, you'd have to take the risks from there on, and that was it. Meaning that um, you could, if, if you decide to break away from, from that and, and download third-party apps and stuff into your computer, that's what would happen. Stupid, isn't it? That Microsoft would be that greedy to do something like that. And the trick works. The trick works 100% how to bypass signing in, signing in when you um, use mom, when you use your computer to, uh, for a Microsoft account. Because you shouldn't have to make one. It's foolish. All you have to do is like they did online. I saw a video. Go, when you're in the section where it asks for your um, email, you put a fake email in. And then when it asks for the password, because um, there's no internet connection, so it can't verify that the um, username is even real. You go into the password section and repeatedly type the password in wrong all the time. There's no real password because it's not a real username. You keep typing it in and typing it, eventually it knocks you right out of there. It just sends you to start setting your computer up which is really good because i didn't want to sign into nothing <laughs> so um that's the good thing about it uh i'm just you know i'm impressed i had to do a lot of settings to change things around because um oh, i forgot how to change this i don't this do not disturb needs to go off i like to get notifications because sometimes there's something important you should always get a notification when you're doing something important, but um, that's that's it. So I'm going to go to the Scanner Master website, I mean, because I need to download Sentinel into this computer. Damn it, I didn't connect to the internet. Um, very important to connect to the internet. So what else can I say about this computer? I'm really, really, really impressed with it, though, because... 
Despite it being a computer with an i3, I didn't even mention it has eight gigs of RAM. I was at 32 gigs of RAM. Now I'm at eight. I can't believe how smooth this computer runs still. It's just, that's the thing. From the tasks I'm doing, it doesn't matter what computer you have. It's pretty much going to run the same. If I ran a game on here, it's not going to run like the computer I, I had that I took for repair. But that's that. So then I go into the scanner I want. Now the screen is such poor quality. So when you look at it, all the colors are all over the place. They look like shit. But um, what do you expect for how much you pay for it? Um, I have the SDS 100. And that controls the 436, uh, the SDS 100, and the um, SDS 200. So you just remember that when you click on it. Doesn't really matter which one you click on. And when you click inside these things, they show you downloads for Sentinel, which is um, the software you should download. Oh shit, no, I'm not. Um, yeah, whatever. No, 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 it's wrong. Stupid thing. I almost downloaded some other program. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, I'm running off a of Wi-Fi because I bought an Ethernet adapter just to get the damn thing running on faster speeds. It's probably not going to be as good as actual Ethernet, but it's better than nothing. So that's a USB adapter I bought, which should be able to, to um, speed up things. Because look, Chris staring at an Ethernet cable right now. Wireless Wireless internet is horrible. I don't know how people can... That's why people keep disconnecting from games when they're playing on a PlayStation. It's because wireless is terrible. It's not a good piece of... Um, okay, here we go. Um, we're going to do the setup. See? Now, like I said, Microsoft would have blocked me from this if I had done it last time. Oh, come on. I, I need a special net framework. Wonderful. Let's try this. I'm going to try downloading this program. I have no clear idea if it's going to do anything. But it's a Microsoft program, so I shouldn't have any issues. It, it might require it to put my um, other software in place. Oh, isn't it nice waiting for stuff? Waiting, waiting, waiting. I, I, um, it's not that bad, but actually it is pretty bad. 221 megabytes takes over a minute to download. Considering the internet I have, that shouldn't be... Well, I'm using the shitty internet that I'm connected to. Because all these other passwords are all scrambled. All different... I, I hate using them. Okay. Um, so what, I, what else can I say? The one thing that doesn't make any sense is... This is a touch screen, if I didn't mention that. It's a touch screen. I can't believe that this um, computer is a touch screen. It really strikes me because... It doesn't have a fingerprint reader. There's no lit keyboard, backlit keyboard, but there's a a friggin' touch screen on it. Like I don't understand why. You know, touch screens break very easily. So if you break the touch screen on this, it's very unlikely they'll fix it for you. Unless you want to spend more than what the computer is worth. Alright, it's almost done downloading. What a pain in the ass this is that I have to do this. Um <sighs> Um, oh shit, I hope I downloaded the right version. Okay. Run. Come on. Okay. Install. Yes. Runtime. Don't screw with that in your computer. The reason why I say don't screw with it is because if you screw around with it, programs won't run properly. I had to reinstall Windows because of that. I tried so hard to reinstall one of those run times. Forget it. Okay. okay. This is where we're doing, looking at running. Um, I, when I'm done with this, I'll tell you if it works. But I got to get done with it first. Um, oh. I just hope it works. I really, I just, I don't like dealing with this crap unless it's absolutely necessary. You are. So then when I get into the Sentinel, it's a, such a, it's kind of a shitty program that it's probably going to make me do an update. 
Okay. Well, that installed. Let's try downloading and installing Sentinel again. Oh, this setup requires the net version frame too. Oh man. Let's try one of the old ones. What a pain. Did I do something wrong here? I must have. I must have downloaded the wrong version. What a pain. <laughs> so I hate doing this because it's always an issue. Like it just can't work the way you want it to. It's got to um. Let's go back. Let's try going to the page with the SDS 100. Scanners, portable, scanners, portable, SDS, yeah. I take too long in these videos, so if you want to skip ahead, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. All right, downloads, download Sentinel. Um, view Sentinel top three tickets. Firmware release, um, the latest version of Sentinel, yeah, I probably downloaded the wrong one. That's probably my fault, I don't know. No, it's right here. Wow. It tells you all the different stuff it did from different versions, but whatever. We'll try it again. We'll download it a second time. What a pain. 41 megabytes takes a little over. Actually, no, this downloads pretty fast, considering. Okay. <sighs> I know I'm, I, I probably have to search for the exact version, but I shouldn't have to do that because they update the software, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to do that at all. Run. All right, they said 2.0. Let's see, downloads. Network, net. Net downloads. Net framework. Look for previous framework. Um, wow. Out of support versions. All the way to four. That's as far as it goes back. Oh, this isn't right. This is not right at all. I, I might got to be doing something wrong. All right, this is now when we go to Google and try to find it somewhere else and hopefully we don't get a virus. Net Framework 2.0 download. Okay, let's try this. Um, I don't want the Copilot app, I want the, oh, what a pain. Okay. Hopefully this works. You know what I hate about this is everything in my download folder adds up and you have to go in there and delete stuff because it gets too full. Hopefully this works. <sighs> now this isn't right. I shouldn't have to do this. You know, Scanner Ma not, it's not Scanner Master's fault. United should have something like Universal that just works with every version of Windows and you don't have to do all these updates for it. That's what I would love for them to happen. Um, okay, download and install this. All right. Then you're going to get, again, it gives you this update. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's, a, it's absolute. I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> this is a really long video, but I'm going to tell you, I've been doing... I've been working with computers long enough. They don't get any easier. It may look like it, adding all these touch screens and all this other stuff to computers. But the truth is, this is stuff a lot of people would never know how to do. I'm um, downloading. A lot of people, if they don't see the download on the website, they won't look for it at all. You have to Google a lot of things and look it up. And you have to download it yourself. Do everything yourself. Um, I'm trying to look now to see if this damn thing will download once again. Um, you know, if I was correct, the, um, the the police scanners used to come with the software built in, but I assume that was like the really old version of it. I don't think I have it anymore. I think I deleted it off the radio or something, if I haven't had it. Download and require files. What a pain. 
pain in the ass. Such a fucking pain. It's such a disappointment, too. I mean, to deal with all this shit. It's probably trying to download every... It's, it mentioned three different frameworks besides the one I was I was trying to download. So it probably needs all those in order for the other... For the one I'm down, I, I'm trying to download to exist, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I won't. St I'm gonna stop this in a few minutes if this doesn't finish. Um, it's really kind of disappointing and it's depressing. I don't think I'm gonna de delete them from my downloads right away because if I do that, I might need them again, and I don't want to have to go around searching for them and, and downloading everything all over. But as you can, oh, well, you can't see it, but well, actually, you can see it. You can see that bar and how far, how much progress it's made. Isn't this nice? Trying to sit here and wait for Microsoft to download some framework updates. <laughs> Shouldn't take this long. Oh my lord. Oh my com computer's time isn't even correct. I never understood this. Why won't the time on a computer be so bad that it, um, you, um, Set time automatically. No, I don't want to adjust for daylight savings time. Yes. Um, what? Oh, no, no wonder why I was in the wrong time zone. Still, it, it was, it, it detected me on the internet. It should have known better. Um, I'm in the eastern time zone. It should be right here somewhere. There we go. It's finally fixed itself. See, now, wow, the do downloader requires files. Now it's doing another thing. You can't tell, you cannot tell me that this is okay. You can't. Oh, not. Um, now it's gone a little further. I'm just looking at the dates and stuff. Daylight savings sign set automatically. Um, all right, now it's gone a little further across the line. And just to prove I have a touch screen. See? <laughs> Not much of a, a perk, I'll tell you that. If I keep using it, it will probably break. I have one on my old laptop. It, um, That one, I think, is have, have, has problems, too. That came with a whole... HP paint program, you could paint pictures and stuff. It was nice. This doesn't come with anything. <laughs> so, like, the touchscreen really has no purpose. Put it that way. Okay. Downloading required files. Well, we got a little itch left. <sighs> I want, I really, sometimes I feel like, I really feel like sometimes I want to throw something against the wall and break it. Because it really frustrates me. Now imagine canceling this right when it's at the almost at the end. If the whole thing is filled up, why is it at a hundred percent? It should be. Cancel. Wow. Okay. Installing now. Wow. Yeah, that's right. We gotta wait for the installation because you know it couldn't do that in the last that that whole process. There we go. Installation is always fast. All right. Includes net 2.0 and 3.0. All right. Let's try it now. Will Sentinel finally download? Oh, well, we have problems. I never, I don't remember having so many problems like this. Yes, it works now. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's a good thing. Well, at least I knew what I was doing. Well, not actually, I really didn't know what I was doing, but at least I, I got it to work. That's bullshit that I had to download multiple frames. Uh, uh, not multiple. Mainly it was only one, but I did two because I didn't know which one was which. You shouldn't have to download another framework just to update your radio. That's just, you know, that's a little, that's a hogwash. That's bullshit to me. Um, now I go into my downloads. It's I got Net Framework, Sentinel, Net Framework, Sentinel... And other stuff. Okay. Well, that's it. Bye-bye.